Hi there guys. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to you a little bit today about how to paint a pint, uh, technically a leopard appaloosa. Um, so I have a commission here for a appaloosa and I thought it would be a good tutorial for you guys. Um, this is a little bit more of a complex tutorial. This is somebody for people who have a little bit more experience um, in painting model horses along with pastels. So we're going to be doing a semi-complex model. Um, basically what that means is is that we're going to be having not super complex like this horse here but not super simple like just a couple of spots on him kind of deal. Um, so I have a Eidicus mold here and the things you're going to need is you're going to need a black soft pastel set such as this one here. You're also going to need uh, cotton swabs or ear cleaners. Uh, you're going to need acrylic paints, um, preferably a nice skinny pink color, black, white, um, we're going to be doing um, a Bay Rome, which is this guy here. Um, so, yeah, so, yeah, we're going to just need black colors. We won't need any other colors than that. Um, you're also going to need a pan, something like this. Uh, these are pie pans. We, we have a lot of pie in the house. Um, and these are just aluminum pie pans. You can buy them. You can usually find them. Um, they're really good for painting. So what we're going to do is we need one of these. You're also going to need a fluffy brush, an array assortment of uh, brushes for painting. You're also going to need some glass window cleaner and uh, of course matte finish and your horse is going to need to be primed and ready to go. So the first thing we need to do is we need to have some white acrylic paint. Um, you can watch my tutorial on how to mix acrylic paints. So, but this is, feels a little bit dry to me, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is add a little bit more of my stuff because it does feel a little bit too... Okay. Mix that up again. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to pour a little bit onto our plate there and we're going to need a medium sized brush. Now what we're doing, because when we start doing some of the more um, little areas here where are not fully black, like little splotches and stuff, the problem with primer is, is that it's not considered a white, it's more of an oval white or, or an eggshell white. We want a pure white and of course, you know, we won't get that because it's harder to find that in normal acrylic paints. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our acrylic paint and we're going to start putting a layer of the white acrylic paint on top of the primer, of course. And you always want to make sure that you go with the direction of the hair if possible and depending on you know how thick um, the acrylic paint is you may get a very grainy look which is bad um, the whole point of doing this is like I said so that when we start doing the detail work on him we have something that's already a base coat below it and not this offset white primer. Um, but it needs to be very thin. The thicker the acrylic paint, the more grainier it is. Also, depending on the age of your acrylic paints can also have a big effect on how well it turns out. Um, but usually you only need to do about one coat, generally. Um, and you just want to make sure that it's all very smooth. Um, there's no like weird like areas on the horse that may hinder its appearance. Um, of course, that's very hard to do, um, especially if you live in a dusty area like I do. 
So I'm going to do this to the horse the entire way. And then once I do that, he will get uh, matte finished again. And once he gets matte finished, I will let him dry for about maybe half an hour to 45 minutes. And once that's complete, then I will start working on his base coat of his pastels. But you always want to make sure that the matte finish is dry, especially with multiple layers. Uh, it does take about a full day for a lot of layers to dry. That's why I always say after um, a few layers, if you haven't let your primer horse dry overnight like I generally do, um, then you're going to want to do one primer layer, let them dry, and then once that primer layer is done, then you can matte finish him, let him dry again, and then once that's done, you can put one to two coats of your pastel dust on him, and then spray him, and then you're going to want to let him dry overnight. I always say this just because um, it is better for the horse. It's less likely to have more problems later on down the road, especially if um, you live in a very wet climate. I live in a very dry climate most of the year round, so it's a little bit different for me, but generally I still let my horses sit overnight um, to make sure that all the layers beneath are 100% completely dry. So as you can see, I'm just adding another coat. I have already have an, um, one coat on him. This is what I call the finish coat. Um, it's just kind of a light brush on of the same acrylic paint. It's very, very, very thin um, just to fill in any areas that I may have missed. Um, and of course, you know, once this does dry, then I'll matte finish him, let him dry for a little while, and then go ahead and start working on his pastel layer. But I always want to make sure that I didn't miss any areas on him because, um, you know, he did already get his coat of paint on, but I did miss areas. And of course, generally, most of the time you will actually miss areas. Um, and it's just kind of how it goes, and you just got to keep going along with flow. So, alright. Okay, of course this guy doesn't have much of a tail to hold on to. Um, now, I know a lot of people ask me, oh, I get this really, really grainy look to my horse. It's super, super, super grainy. That's because you're not thinning it down enough. Um, if you don't thin down the acrylic paints, they get that grainy look. Um, they need to be thinned down very, 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 very thin. You also need to learn how to work with acrylic paints. Acrylic paints are one of the hardest medias to work with just because you know, people say, oh, well, they're really easy, you know, they're, they come up really easy with water, and they're super, you know, easy to just deal with, but they're not the best for shading, they're not the best for um, a lot of things, actually. Um, they're good for, you know, finishing markings and doing minor touch-ups, details, stuff like that, um, but overall... You know, you don't really want to use them all the time. I'm more of a pastel person. I've always been a pastel person. I prefer pastel 100%. Um, it just gives much more detail to the horse, and it's absolutely fantastic, and it's beautiful. Um, okay, so um, you can see here that I've got his coat of his white on there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let him dry. I'm going to matte finish him. And then once he's matte finished, then we will start on to the second tutorial video about how to start pastelling our horse. Um, and remember, you will need your black pastel set. Um, you will also need your fluffy brush and several other materials, um, just depending on what you're going to need. Um, I also recommend wearing a dust mask because pastels are considered a toxic media because uh, you are bringing them into a fine powder which can get into your lungs which can be very hazardous. Um, so I always recommend having a dust mask or some sort of mask in general to protect yourself from any hazardous materials that you may come in contact to with when painting. 
So I'm going to let this guy dry and we will go on to the next video after this.